Muriel Furrer, a name whispered in awe, a prodigy on two wheels. From the Swiss Alps, she emerged, a talent raw, powerful, undeniable. Victories came early, junior championships, national titles. The world watched, mesmerized. This was a girl destined for greatness, a champion in the making, her smile infectious, her spirit unbreakable. The future was bright, blindingly bright. Muriel, they said, was different, special. She possessed an unmatched determination, a fire in her eyes. She attacked every climb, conquered every descent. Her bike, an extension of herself. They were one, dancing across the asphalt. The cycling world embraced her. A new star was born, and the world held its breath in anticipation. The Road World Championships, the pinnacle of cycling. Riders from every corner of the globe, all vying for the coveted rainbow jersey. The air crackled with tension, excitement hung heavy, among them Muriel, ready to challenge the world's best. The peloton surged forward, a kaleidoscope of colours against the backdrop of the city. The peloton, a tight pack, wheels inches apart, the pace relentless, then chaos. A rider clipped a wheel, a ripple effect. Bikes and bodies slammed into the asphalt, a sickening crunch, screams pierced the air. Dust swirled, obscuring the carnage, and in the middle of it all, Muriel. Silence descended. The world held its breath. Medics rushed to the scene, faces etched with worry. The peloton, a scene of devastation. Bikes twisted and broken, riders dazed and injured. But all eyes searched for one. Where was Muriel? Frantic hands worked, assessing, stabilizing. The world watched, hearts in their throats. News trickled out, sparse, terrifying. Muriel was badly hurt, unconscious. Airlifted to Zurich University Hospital, the best care in the world. But would it be enough? Days turned into an agonizing wait. Hope flickered, dimmed, flickered again. The cycling community united, prayers whispered, messages of support flooded in, from rivals, from fans, from strangers touched by her story. But fate, it seemed, had other plans. The news came like a punch to the gut. Muriel was gone, her injuries too severe. The world reeled, disbelief, anger, heartbreak, a life so full of promise, extinguished too soon, the world mourned a champion lost, a star that burned out too quickly, the pain raw and unbearable, and... Silence. Deafening silence. Then, the tributes. Pouring in from every corner of the globe. Fellow cyclists, devastated. Legends of the sport, heartbroken. They spoke of her talent, her determination, her infectious smile, a stark reminder of the fragility of life. The International Cycling Union, words of condolence, promises of an investigation. But the words rang hollow, empty, another young life lost, another tragedy on the asphalt. The questions lingered. Why? How could this happen? The race organizers too issued statements, expressing their sorrow, their commitment to rider safety. But the words felt inadequate, insufficient. A young woman was gone, her dreams shattered, her future erased, and the world of cycling was left to grapple with the loss. This was not the first time. The cycling world, haunted by tragedy, Names etched in memory, Wouter Weyland, 
Fabio Casatelli, taken too soon, victims of a sport they loved, a sport that demanded everything, and sometimes took even more. The crashes, the injuries, an inherent part of cycling. But the human cost, the pain inflicted, it was too much. A dark cloud hung over the sport, a reminder of the risks, the ever-present danger. Each tragedy reignited the debate, safety, responsibility, the need for change. Some called for stricter regulations, others for safer courses. But the solutions seemed elusive, the sport forever walking a tightrope between risk and reward, between passion and peril. Section 6. The Price of Passion Cycling. A sport of extremes, of pushing limits, of testing boundaries. Riders, modern-day gladiators, battling not only each other, but the elements. The road, their own bodies, and sometimes the price of passion was steep. The crashes, spectacular, terrifying. A blur of bodies and bikes, the aftermath even more so. Broken bones, road rash, head injuries, the invisible scars, the trauma, the fear. Yet they rode on, driven by an unseen force, a love for the sport, the thrill of the race, the camaraderie, the challenge, the pursuit of glory. But at what cost? How many more lives would be lost? How many more dreams shattered? Section 7. A Call for Change Muriel's death sent shockwaves through the cycling world, through the hearts of fans. It was a wake-up call, a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the urgent need for change. The calls grew louder for safer courses, for stricter regulations, for better medical support, for a change in the culture of the sport, a shift away from the acceptance of risk towards a greater emphasis on rider safety. The International Cycling Union, the race organizers, they could no longer ignore the cries for change. The responsibility lay with them to protect the riders to honour the memory of those lost, to ensure that no other family had to endure such pain. Section 8 Muriel's Legacy Muriel Furrer A name forever etched in our hearts, a life cut short, but a legacy that would live on. She would be remembered for her talent, her spirit, her unwavering determination, her death, a tragedy, but one that could spark change, a catalyst for a safer sport, a reminder that some things are more important than victory, more important than glory. Muriel's star may have burned out, but her light would continue to shine, guiding the way for a new generation of cyclists, inspiring them to chase their dreams, but to do so safely, to remember that life, is a precious gift, a gift not to be taken for granted. Section 9. Riding on. The peloton moves on. The races continue. But things are different now. There's a somberness, a newfound appreciation for the fragility of life. Every finish line crossed. A victory not just for the rider, but for the sport. Muriel's memory lingers, a whisper on the wind, a reminder to cherish every moment, to ride with passion, but also with caution, to never forget the sacrifices made, the lives lost. The road ahead is long, the challenges many, but the cycling world rides on carrying Muriel's memory with them, 
striving for a safer future. A future where dreams are chased and lives are cherished. A future where tragedies like this never happen again.